Hello everyone, this is Manoj. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll discuss about Web API and all Web API methods and Postman. Especially how to test your Web API methods through Postman. Testing is very important if you are creating or developing Web API methods and you are going to hand over these Web API methods to one of your web interface developer or mobile app developer like iOS or Android. So testing is very important because without testing you cannot hand over your web API methods to anyone. All right. So far I have created a blank web API project. You can see this is the default web API folder structure. We are having two controllers. One is home. Another one is values. This is a API controller and this is a normal MVC controller. Perfect. And we will use this values controller so let me close this home one first so this is the default content of a web api controller but we will use our own data which is a kind of real time data so first of all let's create a method public or before creating a method let's create a class in this models folder let's say employ and in this employee class let's create some properties first one is like id and second one is like first name and last one is let's say last name save this go to values row controller so this method will return the employees list let's say employee employee list when you click on employees so it will show you intelligence because we need to add a reference of models folder perfect so now employee list is equal to new employee list see I'm going to show you a manual approach but you are not going to or you are not supposed to use this manual approach because we are supposed to get data from a database call all right but just for a reference i'm showing you this manual approach so employee emp1 equal new employee and emp1 dot id equal one and emp1 dot first name is equal to let's say mark and emp1 dot last name is equal to jacob and finally list dot add emp1 so this will add the one employee let's copy these lines and paste it and let's add another employee emp2 and finally add the emp2 in the list and finally return the list so this is a kind of data set of our project but again instead of this manual approach you will use a database call to get data from the database whether you are using sql server or mysql all right so now let's copy this and go to this get method so let's add employee list equal to and let me command this statement and it will return list perfect and change the data type of enumerable employee save this now come to this get so basically this get method will return all the employees but this will return only one employee whatever id will pass from the request so first of all let's get data of all the employees and then we will find out the particular employee so list dot find so we will use find method and inside find we will use lambda expression so x x dot id equal equal id so now let's command this one and let's return this 
and also change the data type employee so it will return a employee save this now come to post method now in the post as of now it will accept a string value but in our case we will pass a complete json request from the postman and it will accept that employee and add in a list so first of all list employee list equal new employee and let me delete this from here employee emp list dot add emp and finally return list we also need to change the data type let's copy this and paste it over here perfect so this is our post so whatever data will pass from the request it will accept that and add in the list and return the entire list now come to put this put method this is basically is going to update your existing record so based on this id it will find that record and then update the values from this parameter so again change the parameter because we will pass a json request and also now let's copy this because this is our existing data set now first we will create a employee by using that id so list dot find x dot id equal equal id so employee because both are same so it will give error so once we find the employee then employee dot first name equal emp dot first name also employee dot last name equal emp dot last name fine and finally return list so what i have done basically first we get all the data and then we need to find whatever id we are passing from the request into this result set and then once we found the employee then we will update all the records whatever we are getting from the parameter object also we need to change the data type let's copy this and paste it over here fine so after updating the details we will return entire list perfect so now in the delete the same way let's copy this so this is our data set also we need to find the employee based on this id once we find the employee then we have a method this dot remove in this remove as you can see in the intelligence it accept a object so let's pass the object over here and finally return the list after deleting that particular employee again we need to change the data type as of now it is void but we need to return the list the updated list so save this so our data set is ready all the methods are ready so now let's run the project or before run let's place a breakpoint over here or let's say on all the methods just to show you how it works let's run the project now this is the base url copy this one and inside your postman put it over here and also write apis values now click on send so you can see the breakpoint has come now if click on continue continue so you can see we are getting two employees one is mark one is oops oh i didn't change let me close this we need to change the values also so let's say 
open a Sharma. Save this. Run the project again. So this is again a manual approach, but when you uh, use a database call, so you will never get the same data with the same IDs. Values will get maybe values could be same, but not the IDs. All right. So no need to worry. Now, if I click on send, click on continue, continue. So you can see one is mark, two is winner. Perfect. Now, this is the get this one. Now we will test this get by ID. So if I pass, let's say one and click on send, you can see we are getting one as a parameter. Click on continue. So you can see we are getting one. Let me remove this breakpoint. So if I pass, let's say two, so we are getting data of winner, which is having ID two. Perfect. Now we will test our post method. All right. So let's change this post and remove the parameter now come to body click on raw and here we'll check the json one come to headers here we will say content type application json let me copy this object and come to body and let me paste it over here and let's give a ID 10 and give a name let's say Rohit Kumar and if I click on send so you can see it, it is not coming on the breakpoint, but it is giving us error. Why it is giving error? So if we see the read the error, so multiple actions were found that match the request post on type. Da, 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 this. Okay. The reason is we are using this employee list as a data set. So for that, we need to decorate this particular employee list as HTTP get because the compiler is getting confused which method it needs to call all right so let's close this and this is a real scenario so that's why i'm showing you so here if i decorate this was http get let's save this run the project again Now click on send. So you can see it is coming on the project. And if I expand the object, so you can see Rohit 10 Kumar, which is exactly the same as per the request. So let's click on continue. So we have successfully returned the data. You can see it has been added in the list and finally we returned the data. So this is how your post will work. So now let's change this to put and if we see the put it needs two parameters one is the request and another one is ID. So let's say for one we will change something. So as of now you can see in the list the one is ID of mark. So let's change the name as let's give ID one and mark updated name and the last name is mark updated last name let's say so click on send so if I expand this one so we will see mark updated one mark updated one and ID one so let me also show you the debugging so this is the complete list the first one is mark this is the existing database now 
if I filter it out so based on ID it took that these are the existing details like Mark and Jacob now if we see the list and if we check the first one so it has been updated like mark updated name mark updated last name so let's click on continue so you can see the data has been updated and we have successfully returned the updated data or updated list perfect so this is the first one and this is the second this one this will remain the same but this is the updated one perfect so this is how we can use the put method and now the last one is delete delete will only accept a single parameter which is id so let's say we will delete the first one if i click on oh not this one sorry you need to change the http verb as delete if i click on send so now it will take the id id is coming one again let's debug this so it found that this is the employee having id one so let's remove this one and now you can see the only one employee is remaining which is finish so let's click on continue so in the list only one employee is left perfect the one which is having id one is deleted so this is how we can use the delete method so this is how we can create or test our all web api methods through postman so this is about today's video i hope you like this if you did so hit the like button share comment and you can also follow me on instagram my instagram handle is open programmer there we can talk one to one like if you face any kind of problem related to this project web api react dot net c sharp any other so we can talk directly one to one on instagram you can also find my instagram link in the channel description so i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching take care bye bye